Welcome back. It's 928. There's a major push out there for gluten free items, and those who suffer from celiac disease, a digestive order, definitely disorder, rather, know all too well how this has changed their life. Dr. Keith with Spectrum Health Medical Group breaks down what is happening to your body and how his team can help bring you some relief. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. I was telling you, it seems like I've heard more and more about this recently, but you said it's been all around for a long time. What is celiac disease? Well, celiac disease is a specific condition where the body is unable to digest a protein that we get from certain grains called gluten. Mm -hmm. And when people with celiac disease ingest gluten, they can become quite ill and it makes their small intestine not absorb nutrients correctly. Okay, so that's kind of what sets it off. That's the trigger, basically. Is it is it the same for everyone, or is there, are there different things and foods that trigger it for people? It, it's specifically the celiac disease. It's gluten. Mm -hmm. Okay, and and we're talking about it's such a great movement out there because a lot of people can go to places like Big Lots, Aldi, Meyer, and they have all kinds of options of what they can eat. Yes, there's a lot more awareness about it. The the frequency of celiac disease hasn't really increased, mm -hmm. but because physicians are more aware of the condition. And because there are some tests available now that are pretty easy to do, we're able to diagnose it earlier in patients. And the, uh, the majority of people that have sensitivity to gluten don't necessarily always have celiac disease. Mm -hmm. But there are a number of people that have irritable bowel where celiac disease can be a trigger for that. So these patients then have increased the access to gluten-free food for the people that have celiac disease. Yeah, all right. So what are the symptoms? What would someone experience that has this disease? It's a good question. It can be highly variable, and unfortunately there can be many people who have it sometimes for even decades and aren't really aware that they have this mm -hmm. problem. But the more advanced symptoms can include bowel distress like diarrhea and abdominal cramping. Sometimes people can have anemia mm -hmm. from loss of blood and loss of absorption uh, of iron from the diet. And then the, the more advanced feature is actually weight loss. Mm -hmm. So how do you go about diagnosing it? How do you break it down for someone as far as if they have it, if they have something else? Or? Sure. The, when patients come in, and a lot of, because it's very prevalent in, on the Internet and a lot of patients are educated about it, many people will come in and say, I've been reading, and I think perhaps I have celiac disease. Can you test me for it? Mm -hmm. There are a number of blood tests, simple blood tests that can be done to screen for it. And in patients that have abnormal blood test results, we would recommend a upper endoscopy procedure to get a biopsy from the small intestine mm -hmm. to confirm the diagnosis. That's a sedation procedure that the patients aren't aware of and don't feel. Yep, I've had one of those and I didn't mm -hmm. have a clue what was going on. <laughs> That's so, good. So, yes, uh, me too. Yeah, so as far as the treatments that are out there. Treatments, the mainstay of treatment is really diet. Okay. So typically the patient would meet with a physician to review biopsy results and, and go over in general what a gluten-free diet entails, but that's where the multidisciplinary team, as you mentioned, comes into play because usually we would involve a dietitian to meet with a patient. And there are a number of helpful websites out there to direct people toward gluten-free foods. Okay, and what are some of those gluten-free uh, grains that are out there that are, are good for people who have celiac disease and, and help them enjoy some good meals? So. Right, some good meals. Yeah. Uh, millet, sorghum are uh, ones that are, are okay. Uh, amaranth, teff, buckwheat, and quinoa. Love quinoa, and I like to see people try to pronounce that one too, because they always suffer with that mm -hmm. one. So, if people want to reach out to you and learn a little bit more and maybe get a diagnosis, uh, where are you located at? We're located at um, Spectrum Health Medical Group, Gastroenterology, mm -hmm. uh, Cascade Road in East Paris. Okay. And uh, we are at Suite 205. All right, and it's just uh, easy also to go online at shmg.org, and they can find all help, all sorts of uh, helpful resources right there. So sure. Thanks for stopping by. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Have a great day. All right. Your time now is nine.